The story of Tom Jeffers, Indian agent, and his blood brother, Cochise, greatest Apache chief. Two men from different worlds who fought side by side to change the history of the Southwest. A Modoc Indian girl from the Oregon Territory, far to the north, appeared on the Chiricahua Reservation one day, bringing to the land of the Apaches hatred and destruction. Apache. Wherever she is, it looks like she's a long way from home. Easy. It's enough for now. Thank you. Do not try to talk now. so bad as I thought. You will be well again, sir. I should be tending you. It is you who are ill. Not ill. Just tired and hungry. I've been traveling for many days. You will be well cared for in my village. idea who he was? None. Maybe you can tell us. Do you know who he was? Chiricahua stronghold. You must be Cochise. I am Milana of the Modoc people. It is an honor to meet so great a chief. Among us, the name of Cochise is a legend. The Modoc people? You rode all the way from the Oregon Territory? Yes. Your people are still at war with the government? Even the settlers have joined the soldiers in war against us. And you? I was taken prisoner by some drunken miners. I escaped. I've been running ever since. You need run no longer. You may remain here in our village until the trouble between your people and the Americans is over.
did this? Did she? Have you seen her? How long passed? How long passed? Four days. She will not escape now. Today, she marries with one of our braves. Take us there quickly. At a time like this, the ways of the Apache seem dull. I miss the good old American custom of kissing the bride. Why do Modocs come armed into Apache territory? We have no quarrel with the Apache. We came only to take back one of our own. Your chief, Captain Jack, leads his people in war. Why do Modoc warriors leave the field of battle and travel so far to find one girl? The war is ended, Cochise. Captain Jack was betrayed and captured. betrayed him. And because of her treachery, the war was lost. That is a lie. It is they who betrayed our chief, I swear it. The Modocs know who is guilty. Let them judge. I would never get there alive. I alone know of their guilt. You will not touch her. You call yourself friend to the Apaches? Do not ever draw sword in this village again. Forgive me, Cochise. My anger took command. First it was our chief, and our brother found dying along the trail. That must have been the man I shot. He opened fire on us. You are not to blame, white man. She is the one. Wherever she goes, death follows her. I ask you, Cochise, release her to us. No, they will kill me. I give you my word. Nothing will happen to her until she is judged by her own people. I am among my own people. You are Modoc. Your people are Modocs. I am married to an Apache. Now I am Apache. Tell him, Kochi. Tell him that now I am Apache. Unless you married Ketawa, not for his love, but for my protection. You were Apache agent. It is your job to protect your cow Apaches. Tell this man that I speak the truth, that I am Apache now. She is not altogether wrong, Cochise. Agent Jeffords will send a message to the white soldiers in the land of the Modocs. You will find out the truth. Until Jeffords receives an answer, I will give you my protection. If your words are true, you will stay here and live your days with us. If you are lying, I will send you back to the Modocs with Apache warriors to guard you so that you will live to face the justice of your own people. Go, send a message on the wire that talks. No matter what the answer is, we will not rest until this woman is punished for what she has done. And I say this again. This woman is evil. Wherever she rests, there too rests 
death. What is this place? An Apache girl would not have to ask that question. This is the honeymoon wiki up. It is so far from the village. After a marriage, the Apaches go far away from their village and remain together for 10 days. There's food here, all that we need. No one will disturb us. For 10 days, no one will come here? Kitawa, do you love me? I would give my life for you. That much is not needed. You must just let me go. Go? Go where? I cannot stay here. Small and the others will never rest until I am dead at their feet. The ten days you speak of, it will give me time to put a great distance between myself and the men who would kill me. You are my wife. No one will kill you. There are four of them. There could be ten times four. Agent Jeffers has sent his message. Once Cochise says proof of your innocence, every man in the Chiricahua tribe will stand by my side to protect you. The message will not clear me. Smaller did not lie. I sold Captain Jack to the soldiers. But why? That is no business of yours. Unless I get away, they will kill me for what I did. Ketawa, you, you say you love me. Then let me go. Remain here alone. No. I will not let you go. And I will not stay here to be killed. Let me go. I will not let you go. No matter what you tell me, I will not let you go. You're my wife. There's nothing more to be said. a useless war. I gave Captain Jack to the cavalry and that ended the killing. One life for many. Is that so terrible? Is it? Your chief. Your people were fighting for their land. For what they believed belonged to them. Yes, that was a terrible thing. I saved the lives of many of your people as well. I suppose you figure that buys my protection. Once before I asked for your protection as Apache agent. Now I do not ask. I demand. When I betrayed Captain Jack, I was working for the government of the United States. The army swore that I would be safe. Here you are the government of the United States. You must protect me from the Modocs and from Cochise. You must protect me to keep your government's word. All right. I'll protect you. As far as Fort Bowie. No, not to the soldiers. You work for them. Let them worry about you. No, do not let them take me. The army promised. <laughs>
It's Curtis. Curtis? Have you received an answer from the soldiers? Not yet. Why is she here? Why is she not with her husband? She has left him. She is afraid to stay among the Apaches. What of K Tower? You'll be made to look a fool. I'm afraid K Tower is not the only one who's going to be made to look a fool. The Modocs did not lie. This woman did betray her chief. She should die here and now. At the hands of the loyal Modoc warriors who followed her. I have given my word. I will bring warriors to take her back to her people, Kerchis. I cannot let you have her. She is now under my protection. Your protection? She is Indian. She has committed a crime against Indians. She must be judged by Indians. That is true. But the crime she committed was done as a service for my government. Treachery, a service? In this case, yes. I will take her to Fort Bowie. It is the duty of the army to take care of her. For many years, I fought your government. Because to my people, it was a government of lies and broken promises. I gave you my friendship and trust because I thought you were separate from your government. From this moment on, you are no longer separate. I'll fix up a horse for you. I'm sorry I caused trouble between you and Coach. Forget it. Mr. Jeffords, do not turn me over to the soldiers. Take me to Mexico. You heard what I told Cochise. You're going to Bowie. In Mexico, you could come and see me. We could be together. We both work on the same side. I was never less proud of anything in all my life. I have a pass. I'm supposed to pick up a Modoc Indian girl named Milana. She is no longer in our village. She is with Jeffords. At the agency? He is taking her to Fort Bowie. The message just came in. How did Jeffords know they wanted her? Who wants her? From the commanding officer at Fort Klamath. What was the message? I'm sorry, it's a military matter. Sergeant, you are on Apache land. You will leave this territory alive or dead according to my will. What was the message? It seems this Milan is wanted for shooting a second lieutenant. Shooting a soldier? I was told she betrayed her chief. Sure, for the shave tail. He told her he was going to marry her. Then when he tried to walk out on her, she shot him. Did Jeffords know this? He couldn't. But what's the difference? He's taking her to the fort anyway. If he reaches the fort. <laughs> Mohal and the others might be anywhere. Give me a gun. You know how to use this? Yes. If they jump us, I'll get it to you in plenty of time.
and go your way in peace. This girl is under the protection of the United States government. I see no government. Only you. You cannot protect her. Give her up, or we kill you both. Or maybe get yourself killed. Take your men and return to your home. Unconscious. Now he'll stay that way. Oh, Keith! This is not your fight. Jeffords! The woman is a killer. If she is armed, disarm her. Let the woman be given to the soldiers. So they can protect her? My quarrel is not with you, Cochise. Move aside. The soldiers will not protect her. Why do you say that? When she is in the pay of the army. She has killed one of their lieutenants. A soldier came with a message from Fort Bowie. The army wants her to put her to death. And your chief will also be avenged. The word of Cochise is strong. Take her. belongings of the one who was called Kate Tawa. The burial place with him. Cochise. I came to look upon the resting place of the one who was called Kate Tawa. I came also to give you my thanks for saving my life. You've lived among us a long time. You know that Apaches never give thanks for big things, especially to a brother. I am at fault, my brother, for quarreling with you when you did what you had to do. The husband is in his grave, and the wife is in prison. And now the storm has passed by. Mm -hmm. 